Do you have decisions to make this week? Are there decisions that could impact just today? Or maybe it's larger decisions that will impact you for quite some time. Well, in those decisions, don't try to make them alone. Go to God and ask God for great wisdom to come through you. And it will. Now, here's a key. As you ask for wisdom, don't expect it to come down like a lightning bolt. Give it some time. It's just like if you took a vitamin into your mouth and it would not immediately dissolve, immediately feed your body. Now, many times when we're making a decision and we're tossing and turning and going this way and that, looking to this human and that human to give us guidance, the mind is all locked up. Then we pray for the decision ability, and over the day, our mind opens up. And when we're least expecting it, the guidance can come. And when we're the most relaxed, when our mind isn't even thinking about it, all of a sudden, an insight will come through. In Isaiah, 2 verse 5 it says come let us walk in the light of the Lord well may this be a week where we're walking in the light of the Lord may this be a week where we're one with God's light one with God's wisdom where we are making right decisions may our judgment be wise and good this week well there are times and there are circumstances when in human mind we can be very locked up, very confused, and very uncertain. It may seem difficult to know at a time like that which way to turn. Uh, and when we are so locked up, there is only one thing to do and that is to go to God in prayer and to begin to relax. Sometimes that takes longer than other times. It depends on how tense we are, but how reassuring at times to realize the light and the wisdom of God are with us and within us. And when we do the doubt and the indecisiveness it's dispelled and we realize again as we let the Spirit of God shine in and through us that we're not alone it's funny though with the human being no matter how many times we discover that we forget it twice as often and we need to constantly remind ourselves. You know, the Bible talks about being saved. Well, you're saved in the day, in the moment. And when you are reminded again, when you're reassured again, you know that the oneness with God's light and wisdom is real. And you know this from your freedom that you feel from confusion or uncertainty you know with a certainty what to do and you follow that time of quiet prayer and inspiration with real guidance by following the inner light of God you're able to make the right decision and your judgment is wise and it's good not only for you, but for all concerned. How absolutely strengthening it is to know that at any time, in any situation, God is with us. And we can confidently trust in God to shed God's light on our path.